still at work. Update. Ooh, I got another friend request. Pretty Jill, cool. you're on. Oh, good morning and welcome to today's edition of the Daily Five. I'm Jill Redicliffe. Well, despite tough economic times that have led to less spending by most Americans, one thing has stayed the same, the reliance on gadgets. The Solutions Research Group is speculating that many people view devices such as their cell phones and iPods as essential as water and electricity. In fact, Apple has already sold nearly four and a half million of its 200 plus dollar iPhones in the first fiscal quarter. Who needs a roof over your head when you've got the top hits of the day? Ashley Simpson Wentz is set to star in the CW's next attempt at playing off the past. She'll be joining the cast of an updated version of Melrose Place. You remember that hit show from the 90s, right? The CW's new show will be joining another updated show from Fox's 90s schedule, Beverly Hills 90210. If they keep this up, I can't wait to see who's going to play Al and Peg Bundy when they ultimately decide to redo Married with Children 2. In a new episode of CSI New York, the CSIs are left without a lot to work with when a pipe bomb destroys a Manhattan townhouse. With most of the evidence going up in flames, the team's forced to reconstruct the damage in order to track down the culprit. That's at 10 tonight on CBS, and over on Fox at 9, find out who's voted off first on American Idol. And speaking of American Idol, did you call in to vote last night? If you were voting for number 13, hope you dialed the right number. The Fox TV show, which has 13 finalists this season instead of the usual dozen, had to choose another voting line besides 866-IDOLS-13, because that number is owned by a phone sex operation. Whoops! <laughs> the show owns 866-IDOLS-01-12, to 12, and last night used a special G-rated IDOLS-36 number for the 13th performer. Tonight, it's about as big as it gets locally, with the Mount's men's hoops team going for its second straight NEC tourney title and berth in the NCAA tournament. This year, coach Milan Brown's second-seeded Mountaineers play at top-seeded Robert Morris. Can't make it to Pittsburgh for the game? No worries. Catch it on ESPN2. Tip-off is at 8.30. That's five and we're through. Thanks for joining us and have a great day, Frederick.